Hey people, and welcome to an extensive episode about electronic drums. This is not supposed to be a mere pros and cons list. We will also talk a lot about the relationship between e-drums and acoustic or a-drums. As always, I want to try to examine both sides critically and in the end everybody decides for him or herself what he or she uses in the particular situation. First of all, two important points. Even though we will compare E and A drums directly, we always have to bear in mind that they are two different instruments, as we will see later on in detail. And if you practice on an electronic drum kit, you will have to play on an acoustic one every now and then, at rehearsals, sessions or gigs. This is where you will face some of the disadvantages, because you get used to some things on the E drums, you just can't apply to the A drums, or which will affect your playing. But now let's look at some particular advantages and disadvantages of electronic drums first. One of the most frequently mentioned benefits is of course that e-drums are not as loud as acoustic drums. You can listen to them only through headphones if you want to and adjust the volume freely. This way you can practice and play to music very easily, which is a huge advantage. Also, you're not always dependent on hearing protection. This is very helpful for drum teachers. Particularly, it's just much more easy on the nerves for people who sometimes give lessons for a few hours straight. But still, the impact sound of the pedals of most models is loud enough to go through the walls and disturb your neighbors. So, um, a platform which reduce, reduces the impact noise or rehearsal space in the basement are still necessary in some cases if you want to practice at home. The rebound of the sticks is not dependent on the tuning of the drum and in most cases very good. Even though good e-drums are quite expensive, the drum heads and cymbals usually don't break and because of the materials used on the rims and cymbals, this applies to the sticks as well. So in the long run you might save money. Electronic drums are lighter and smaller than most acoustic drums and therefore much easier to transport, even in a small car, and quickly set up on stage. Also, they are very handy at live concerts because they take up less space on stage, partially because you don't need any microphones and less cables. You can quickly switch between the adequate sounds for each song if you have programmed them beforehand. But there is a new problem which arises at live gigs. If you don't have a good monitor sound, you can hardly hear yourself playing and subsequently your playing will be less precise than usual or at least less confident because you will probably try to just drive it home safely. The acoustic drum set will naturally give you enough sonic feedback to correct your playing if necessary, partly because of the sharpness of the sounds which always cut through. The electronic drum set usually sounds very pleasant and integrates well into the overall sound impression. This is very good, but this also means that it is very, good, uh, very difficult for your ears to filter out your own playing so you can orientate and correct yourself. E-drums are easy and cheap to record. This is a good motivation and a huge aid in the learning process. With MIDI, these recordings are easy to edit. But this means that there is the temptation to be less focused on accuracy in your playing because every beat can be aligned with the click later on. But this means that the human component in these recordings will be destroyed. Also, these kind of recordings create unrealistic expectations which can never be satisfied live or at an acoustic drum set. Another big advantage of electronic drums is of course that you can change the sounds at will. This means you have a huge repertoire of different sonic effects which you can also change in pitch and choose on which drum or cymbal you want to play it. This way you can unlock new musical territories which you can't reach with A drums. Acoustic drums have the possibility to upgrade selectively and piece by piece. But also for e-drums, there are sound libraries with a lot of different sounds you can add to your module. This module is the control unit of your digital drum set and is crucial for the quality of your sounds. So, you can experiment with different sounds, broaden your horizon, expand the possibilities of the instrument and also gain new ideas for the acoustic drum set. A good example for that are drummers like Johnny Rapp or Jojo Mayer, who for many years tried to recreate the beats and sounds of a drum machine on acoustic drums and cymbals and that way expanded the repertoire of the acoustic drum set. However, you have way less potential to play nuances on the electronic drum kit. Some techniques or effects only work on A drums because they use the characteristics of an acoustic drum set. 
Only some uh, digital kits can realistically reproduce the sounds of mallets or brushes. Things like gradually dampening a drum or a cymbal, playing with your hands stick on stick or rim clicks with different stick sizes or positions on the rim and so forth are for the most part impossible. Creating different sounds through these and other techniques helps developing your musicality and expands your musical repertoire, which in turn has a positive effect on your playing on the e-drums. You will become more sophisticated, more demanding and look for new sounds more specifically. Also, you can be much more spontaneous on an acoustic drum set. On a digital kit, you would have to look for specific sounds or effects first, while on the acoustic drum set, you can produce them on the spot with different techniques, mallets, brushes and so on. Another positive aspect of electronic drums is that some of them have some good practicing features, like rhythm trainers to practice your time playing, sometimes with visual support. Also, e-drums offer the possibility of quality control, because you can save the sounds and thus they always stay the same. If you have found the adequate sound, it can always be reproduced quickly and easily. You don't have to tune the drums before every gig or every recording, and you don't have to look again for the desired sound every time you change a drum head. But even with electronic drums, you always have to take the room acoustics in account, of course. But in my eyes, not having to tune the drums holds a big disadvantage. The long search for the proper drum heads and the ideal tuning will lead you to concern yourself closely with your instrument and find your own personal tone and your own personal taste as well. Furthermore, it will train your ears because you are forced to listen very closely. You will strengthen the relationship with your instrument, which is very important to be able to let it sound good. Especially with such a big and fragmented instrument, it is necessary to create this bond and reach this level of connectivity. With e drums, you just have to plug in a few cables. Don't get me wrong, this uh, is very handy and a big advantage, but doesn't give you the opportunity to deal with your instrument on an emotional level as much as with an acoustic instrument. I believe that this is possible rather with an instrument made of wood, which has to be weighted and nursed and whose tuning is changing under different circumstances. Interestingly, the German word for tuning is the same as for mood. So the instrument's mood is changing in different situations and you have to deal with that. This will lead you to care for it more closely. Now let's talk about some specific disadvantages which you can experience if you switch from an electronic to an acoustic drum set or use an electronic one just for practicing. As I already said, on e-drums you can adjust the volume and the sounds yourself. This is a problem if you switch to a-drums because you learn unrealistically concerning dynamics. Because you can change the volume just by turning a knob, you won't develop a realistic feeling for the correlation of the power of your strokes and the volume. This means that on an acoustic drum set, you won't be able to play very quiet or very loud if necessary. Especially children don't learn to estimate their strength and the resulting volume. You will learn unrealistically concerning the sounds. The tones of e-drums are for the most part nice and clean. A switch to A-drums can be frustrating because they are harder to tame. You will have to concern yourself with things like tuning, resonance and muffling. Also, you will learn unrealistically concerning the rebound. As most practice pads, electronic drums have such a good rebound like you will almost never find it on an acoustic kit. If you now have to play on big drums with a low tuning, the missing rebound can cause you problems because you lack the technical skills as they were never challenged on the electronic drum set. Another difference is that the distances between the drums and cymbals are way smaller on the electronic kit. This is very convenient, but if you switch to A-drums, a lot of the patterns and licks you learned are way harder to play because your movements have to be much larger especially if the whole kit is mic'd and the drums and cymbals have to be apart even further. Because many e-drums don't reproduce the different sounds from the edge to the middle of the drum or cymbal realistically and some of them always sound the same no matter where and how you strike it, your coordination is not challenged and thus your movements will be less precise. You don't concern yourself 
with the different tonal areas of the drums or cymbals and with the fact that it makes a big difference how exactly you dampen your cymbal or which kind of drumstick tip you use and so on. There is one thing that is very important to me because I also teach a lot of children. Today we often talk about kids being influenced too much by electronic devices and becoming out of touch with reality. And that's very justified. They wipe across a glass panel instead of climbing trees or playing with toy blocks. To avoid this trend I would encourage you to consider acoustic drums, especially with children. More than once I have used the word unrealistic. Kids learn how the world works only through movement and touching. At an instrument where you can adjust the volume at will, Children won't learn to realistically estimate their strength because a stroke with the same power is sometimes loud and sometimes soft. If you can change the sounds at the pressing of a button and the same drum sounds different all of a sudden, this doesn't exactly promote a sense for reality nor an ambition to seek or develop certain techniques to find new possibilities for musical expression. In the end it's all about the result good music. It doesn't matter whether this music was produced on an acoustic or an electronic instrument. But, especially with children, I'm concerned about the process that leads to this result. And on A-drums, this process is just much more stimulating mentally. After all, kids can play and have fun with a remote control car as well as with a car made from Lego. But, because the latter has to be built first, it helps in a playful manner to develop motor skills, creativity, spatial thought, conceptual ability, concentration and frustration tolerance and it builds a relationship with the result which is stronger than with a toy which you just bought. Also because it brings a sense of achievement which makes the children proud and motivates them to keep putting time and effort into own projects and take pride in the result. This way on an acoustic drum set you will learn that you first have to give your instrument something before you will receive something and I think that is a very important lesson to learn. Sometimes parents ask me if a simple e-drum set would be ideal for beginners. By now you probably know my answer to this question. And it does not depend on whether you are a beginner or not but on how serious you are about it. A talented child or a motivated adult should neither buy a cheap acoustic nor a cheap electronic drum kit, but right from the start have a good instrument on which you have the possibility to play subtle nuances, create good sounds and which challenges your own musicality. Some people say that only on acoustic drums you can get real feeling. What is meant by that is mostly the specific feeling of sticks and pedals on the surface of drums and cymbals. This shows that for many e-drums are supposed to copy a-drums as accurately as possible through realistic sounds and realistic feeling. This is possible to some degree today but never entirely and this wouldn't be productive. Instead we should use the new possibilities we only have on electronic drum sets and apply them musically. A digital piano can never replace an acoustic one but on the electronic keyboard you have a whole lot of new options like bendings, split keyboard with two different types of sounds, change of the volume even after the onset of the tone and so on. So it would be wise to look at e-drums in a similar manner and like the digital piano or the organ see it as a completely different and independent instrument and not just as the electronic version of the acoustic model. For example, if you practice on e-drums for playing on e-drums, all the before mentioned disadvantages take a stronger effect because you are practicing on a completely different instrument and always have to switch gears. It's like practicing on a bass guitar for playing on a double bass. You should decide for one of the two or of course for a hybrid which uses elements of both instruments then you should practice and play only on that instrument which stands for itself and fathom all its musical possibilities. It's like an electric guitar player who doesn't try to imitate an acoustic one but sees his or her instrument as independent and can play great music on it. And on an electric guitar you again have a lot of options you don't have on the acoustic one and vice versa. Everything has its right to exist, its application possibilities and can coexist. In some styles of music, electronic sounds are asked for and thus a digital drum kit is just in the right place. Everybody places emphasis on different things and based on the mentioned factors has to decide for him or herself if he or she wants to play on an acoustic, an electronic 
or a hybrid drum set. I personally feel that a real resonating head and shell of a drum and vibrating cymbals create a physical honesty and pureness which stimulate the interaction with the instrument. I also believe that it can bring you to put more feeling, more personality, more soul into your playing because you are feeling much more, especially through the direct sound transmission. The sound itself is created exactly where you strike the instrument. Still, some critics of digital drums seem to be just puristic or conservative. This is shown by how important the look is for many people. The drummer and YouTube artist Andre Enert exposed this in a great video and said, It seems that many people listen to the drums with their eyes. Whatever has the shape of a drum sounds more authentic than anything else. To prove that, he showed a drum with a wooden shell, which sounds better and more real than an electronic pad to most people, but which has a trigger and the sound is produced by the exact same module as the pad. Another proof for how important the appearance is, is that some manufacturers offer e-drums that look like a-drums and some drummers put mesh hats and triggers on their wooden shells. That's fine, I too like the look of an acoustic drum set, but in the end we have to let our ears decide and not be afraid of technological novelties as long as we use them carefully and adequate to the occasion. The electronic drum set will never replace the acoustic one. It merely adds to the sound creating possibilities and broadens the range of musical means of expression. In the end, the only thing that counts is that it sounds good. Both options hold a lot of potential for that on their own. The acoustic drum set demands more from us, but that way we get challenged and can learn more. For example, it is harder to read a map than to follow a navigation device. But our sense of orientation gets challenged, we become more independent and maybe we concern more with our surroundings again. As you have seen in this video, I try to look not just at the most evident pros and cons and hold them against each other, but to look deeper and try to shed some light on more complex relationships and long-term effects. And we cannot always come to a general conclusion and that's good. Now I'm very excited to hear what you make of this. As always, post your opinion in the comments. Thanks to all who made it through this entire episode, I admit it was a rather long one. Now reward yourself for that. Go outside, play with Lego or practice a little bit. See you on the next episode.